Site-wide tagging is important for ensuring accurate Google Ads conversion measurement. In this video, we'll discuss Google's site-wide tagging solutions and how to decide which solution to use. The best way to measure online conversions is to use tools that set cookies in the same domain as your site. These are known as first-party cookies. The tags for these tools should be placed site-wide on every page of your site to effectively measure and optimize your digital marketing investment. There are three Google site-wide tagging solutions, the Global Site Tag, Google Tag Manager, and Google Analytics. Implementing a site-wide tag is recommended for three reasons. First, site-wide tags help future-proof your conversion measurement. Site-wide tags are better equipped to handle shifts in the measurement ecosystem so that you can continue measuring conversions accurately if browsers make changes in the way that they handle cookies. Second, site-wide tags enable more accurate conversion tracking. They set new cookies on your site domain, which stores information about the ad clicks that brought a user to your site. And third, site-wide tags provide improved tagging experiences and enable faster and easier integration with Google Ads, Google Marketing Platform advertising products, and Google Analytics. If you already import Google Analytics, goals or transactions into Google Ads, and they are your only source of conversions, then there's no need to implement site-wide tagging. If you import offline conversions from a CRM into Google Ads, and the CRM is your only source of truth, there's no need to implement site-wide tagging. You can check the source of your conversions by viewing the Source column within Google Ads. Before implementing a site-wide tag, you'll want to meet three requirements. Activate auto-tagging within your Google Ads account. Auto-tagging will attach the Google Click Identifier, or GCLID, parameter to the URL your customers click. The first-party cookie deployed by one of Google's site-wide tagging solutions will store the GCLID parameter after a click happens. Then, when the same tag fires on the conversion page, it will use the stored GCLID to properly measure conversions. If using any click trackers in tracking URLs, make sure the GCLID still works. You can use Google's Chrome developer tools to help you troubleshoot this. Don't fire the tag from within an iframe or via piggybacking. If you use an existing conversion tracking tag, like Floodlight or from a third party, this tag will not fire from your site domain, so will not have the access to the first party cookies. If you use Google Tag Manager for Google Ads conversion tracking, or if you use floodlight tags, it's important to ensure that the conversion linker is set to load on every page. The conversion linker tag is used to store click data and first party cookies associated with your domain. Within the Google Tag Manager account, first select Tags. At this stage, you should already have Google Ads conversion tracking tag installed and triggered on conversion pages. Select the conversion linker option and edit triggering. Choose all pages and then click save. Lastly, publish this change to your website. If you are not using Google Tag Manager, a second option would be to replace your old tag by a global site tag. Keep in mind that you can still retain the same conversion ID, so your reporting won't be impacted. The global site tag should be implemented on every page of your site in the head section of your HTML pages. And you should also use the event snippet on conversion pages. If you're just setting up a conversion action in Google Ads, you can either install the G tag yourself or email the tag to your web developer. Lastly, if Google Analytics is already implemented on your site and you use Google Ads conversion tracking, an alternative solution is to link the two. Make sure your landing pages and conversion pages match the one in the linked Google Analytics account. Also, if you have more than one domain, make sure to enable cross-domain tracking. To link Google Analytics and Google Ads, select Tools and then Linked Accounts. Choose Google Analytics to select the Analytics property and click on Link. You can then select which views to link to Google Ads. For more details on implementing site-wide tags, check out the Site-wide Tagging Academy on Air episode hosted on the Google Partners YouTube channel.
If you have any questions or for more information, please visit the Google Ads Help Center. For more step-by-step -step videos on Google Ads implementation and optimization, check out Google Ads Tutorials.